Hello, this video will be about bones. I will show you some tips that will improve your workflow. First, let's assume you already have rigged your character, but you want to change one bone position or rotation. You can select the bone with Create Tool, with Alt key held on keyboard, just draw its new position and rotation. This will replace old bone and make new one. This way you just uh, make change without touching the whole hierarchy. Another one. You can create a new bone on the tip of the other bone. Just select the first bone and enter this menu and create bone. This will create the bone at the tip of the parent bone. Note that these two modes should be enabled. If you select the world axis, this will be created at the 0, zero position of the world. Next is not a tip but an advice. If you are not using Pose Tool, I would suggest give it another chance because it's very powerful, especially for two bone chains like arms and legs. It works also great with one bones. Uh, for example, if you select multiple bones and you mostly work with rotation key like this, you can rotate them separately on different uh, direction. But with Post Tool, even if you have selected multiple bones on different chains, you can just pose them however you want in animation. It's, it's simple, but just give it another chance and maybe you can catch it. Next tip would be about inheriting properties of the bones, rotation and scale in this case. Um, by default, they are checked and that means they will inherit all rotation and scale from the parent tree, hierarchy tree. Um, but sometimes we may need to disable them to achieve more natural um, behavior. For example, for the head, let me show you in animation. Let me create one animation. And let's animate the chest bone. Just a simple rotation. Give this direction. Yeah, let's make it shorter. Hmm. Now I'm going to play it on preview window. Take a look at this at the bottom right. And uh, let me check and uncheck the rotation inheritance so you can see the difference. This is, oh, sorry, the head bone. This is unchecked. You can see that head is not rotating while it is moving as it should be. And this is default behavior with rotation inheritance enabled. You can do the same setup with scale. For example, I do this when I make a breathing animation. Let me actually show you. The key this point and maybe here I want to scale up a bit. Okay, let's see. So this uh, is not good for us. It is default behavior. But if we disable uh, inheritance of shoulder and neck, the scale inheritance and maybe rotation. Check this out. We use the same animation. I didn't touch anything. We just have these two timelines and six keys. And what we are having here, just natural looking scale that where we have shoulders and heads a little bit displacing, but not scaling. Here is the result. We just uncheck this. Note that you can do that for bones that are in IKEY chain. Those are disabled. Next advice would be using show and hide of the bones to isolate some section of the skeletons. If we want to work with legs, we can uh, hide the torso with just one click of the mouse. We just select the torso and right click on the dot. It will hide them. Uh, remember that it's not just hiding and showing everything in this tree, but rather than switching them from one value to the other, on or off, depending on initial value. So for example, if we have the shoulder bone already hidden, when we want to hide as well torso, the arm will show off because it was off initially. 
and we want, if we want to show them back with one key, we have Control H for that. This will show every bone in the scene that was hidden at some point. And if we want to hide portion of the bones without hiding the images, we can just select uh, them with box selection and left click on the dot. This will hide the bones. You can see that bones are now hidden but not the inner objects and the other way to hide all bones is uh, using this menu this dot or with hotkey Control b i use it a lot it's very quick to see to clean up third view and the other uh, suggestion would be to go and check out hotkeys for traveling the tree view here if you have huge tree and you are struggling to finding some parent or children connection here um, you can for example find keys for if you want uh, to see who is the uh, parent of this bone you hit control and up it will jump up to the parent and this way you can go up and down through parent and child connection you also can expand or collapse uh, tree with alt held and of course there are other bunch of uh, cool keys just go and check out here in the um, hotkeys section the other cool tip is a built-in functionality of spine that allows easily calculate some values for transform uh, let's create a bone and put it at zero and let's assume we want to add 30 um, degree here we can do like plus and 30 it will do that let's let's add another 15 45 we can same way do the multiplication let's multiply it by 2 90 so this is a simple and easy way to do some calculation here if your project requires some precise position or rotation uh, remember that for um, minus you have to do the plus and then minus 45 it's it's like this uh, value enables uh, the addition and this is the value the minus 45 the value we want to add to to this Next, let's talk about copy pasting transform values of the bones. You can copy any bones uh, transform and paste it to another bone. Yeah. So the position and rotation would be copied. This is very useful. For example, when I do binding of the meshes, uh, before moving to animation mode and for simple modifications, I, I just modify, uh, copy the bone position modify it adjust the binding and then pass the position back so this is for simple bindings and not when i need to do complex modifications i normally do in animation mode and also this works for multiple bones if you copy for this example this chain and then modify them you can again select them and pass they will be reset to these copied values Another use of this copy pasting feature for bones is animation. Uh, for example, if we want if we want to only imitate some kind of IK like this foot is on the ground, we can copy copy bone transform. Uh, note that it's not copying the key. There is no key for transform, but it's copying the transform values of this bone, the position and uh, rotation of this bone. So we copy it, we key it here, and we can key it for next few frames if we want it to stay on the same exact position. This will make sure that our bone is exactly at that position. You can see that this bone is not moving. Um, and it, um, it helps us, otherwise we would need to match the position manually. Lastly, you can change uh, the length of the bones here or if you hover at the tip of the bone, the icon will appear that will allow you to change the length. Also, if sometimes you need to make some bone more clear to understand, 
you can enable its name here it allows to also find it and click it much easier this is it thank you for watching like the video if you think it was helpful so the other people can see it too and let me know if you think some other part of the spine can be covered unfortunately i don't have experience with spine beta 4.0 specifically graph editor otherwise i would really love to cover some details about it so i will cover basics like next time maybe i'm going to cover IK or constraints and some tricks i learned with them but for now that was it thanks again bye